guys, long time no see. Um, hi, my hair is green now. Um, I'm so sorry I don't have the full footage of me dyeing my hair a new color. But uh, this is not what the video is about. It's actually about this wig that I got from Rose Hair. And I just wanted to show the package really quick because it's so cute. So the package is really cute. It's from Rose Hair and it's like a little handle. And it also came bubble wrapped, which is awesome. So if you're worried about like your package getting smushed or whatever, it should be fine. But I don't know, I thought that was really cute. I haven't seen that on any other hair, like wig uh, boxes before. So I don't know, that's really cute. So the reason I got this wig is because it is pretty affordable. Um, I know you guys probably don't wanna be spending like $300 on wigs. I'm gonna try to keep uh, the wigs that I end up getting um, more affordable. I think it's gonna look really cute. I still need to braid back my hair. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this part into the video, but um, here we have a bag. It comes with a bag. Inside the bag, we have some stuff. Oh, sweet, okay. Inside the bag came some tweezers. You could always use some tweezers to tweeze the hairline. Um, an edge brush. I already had one out and ready for when I do my hair. Um, a razor comb for when you're doing the lace, uh, the melting method, cool. That's nice. A hair pin that says rose and has little rolls on it. That's really cute. Uh, some eyelashes. I won't be using these, but they're cute. Um, yeah. Next thing we have here, a lot of stuff. Oh, jeez, I get, get a lot of stuff. All right, so we also get a wig band. So this is um, so where you can make your wig glueless. You can sew this into your wig. Um, to get a better fit. I also get a Tony and Guy comb. I'm probably gonna use this to section out my hair for braiding, that's really nice. A wig cap, and then their return policy information, and like a pamphlet about the company. I was going for, uh, you'll see, you'll see the vibes. <laughs> you'll see the vibes, uh, okay. I need to brush this out a little bit. I do see some flyaways, but okay. So here's the wig. She's real cute. Let me know if I should dye the two front pieces. I probably will eventually. I just don't know what color to do yet. I might end up toning this blonde a little bit more. Um, you don't know, I probably won't. It's pretty cute. Here's a look at the inside of the cap. We have two front comb pieces, one in the back and then one at the crown of the head. So you can see inside of there. So we've got going on the two combs here, the one comb in the middle, and then the one on the bottom. Okay, this may or may not be uh, like two days later, but I did end up cutting off the lace. Um, I haven't actually worn the wig outside yet, but I did try it on a few times and I was able to get it to fit a little bit better. I'm gonna try to glue it down. I don't usually glue down my wigs, if I'm gonna be honest with you. I should have probably put the wig halfway on my head before doing this, but it's okay. I don't think it's actually gonna fit around my edge, like the over here, um, because it is a little too small, um, or my head is too big, you know, either one. Okay, I am back from doing my makeup and hopefully everything looks good. Am I a little worried? Mm, not really. I mean, 
I'm going out today, so like, I really shouldn't put on makeup at all, but I wanted to for this video. I'm probably gonna go in with a little bit of uh, concealer or something. Yeah, she a little crusty, but it's okay. I'm not gonna put my hair up for this. I just wanted to have it, um, I'm not putting my hair up at all today. I just kind of wanted to have the hair on. So here's what the sides are looking like. I probably should have plucked the hairline a little bit. It's not pre-plucked as far as I know. So yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad if you are, I don't think this wig is big head friendly if your head is bigger than mine. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work for you. It works kind of okay if you put bobby pins in. Um, it works kind of okay if you put bobby pins in. I think that's fine for what I need it for. I am planning on dyeing the front two pieces, but I'm not sure what color yet. I was thinking red, but leave a comment. Let me know what color I should dye the front two pieces or if I should leave it blonde, because I might also just leave it blonde. The only thing I regret is not getting it shorter. So this one is a little too long. I was going for more of a bob and I believe I got 14 inches. I probably should have gotten 12. But it's still very nice. It's just a little too long for what I wanted it for. Yeah, I think maybe like an inch or two shorter would have been great. This was a very affordable wig. I think it's only 150 or 160. And I'll put in the price of it just to be sure, but I'm not completely sure. I think it's 160. Um, but it's only because I got 14 inches. If I would have gotten like 12, I think it would have would have been 140 or something. But I'll put in the correct prices somewhere. It is a silkier texture than what I would normally go for. Um, these days I've been really liking kinky curly hair, but um, I don't know if I've seen any e-girl like two blonde strands in the front wigs that are curly so this was the next best thing for me I'm gonna say I'll give this like an 8 out of 10 um, I'm knocking off some points because I have a big head and this does not fit all the way and I wish it did because I am a lot better at doing like the whole baby hair thing even though I don't like to glue down my wigs I, I know how to do it now but if the wig doesn't fit all the way down I can't do it so that's disappointing so I can't put this hair like all the way up in a ponytail or anything but Besides that, I think it's really nice. It's very soft. It didn't smell like anything out of the package. I think the blonde is really good for people of color. Like this blonde isn't too blonde. It's like a warm blonde. So I feel like it would match a lot of different skin tones. Okay, I am all done. Um, I put on some pigtails and I did... <laughs> I uh, put on some pigtails and I also... I put on some pigtails and then I also uh, put on some accessories uh this is from hot topic it's a hair ear cuff this one is oh i don't even remember where this is from i think it's also from hot topic this is from amazon and this wig is from rose hair and it is so cute i feel very cute i also kind of feel like uh you know when christina aguilera had that black and blonde hair in the early 2000s i i'm getting those vibes too oh man i am so into this i just need to figure out where I can get some scrunchies because I don't think the black ones are doing me any justice, but oh, oh my goodness. This is so cute. What do you guys think? I think I might have to bump it up to a nine out of 10 because I think this hairstyle did it for me. This really uh, solidified how much I enjoyed it. But um, yeah, thank you so much, Rose Hair. I really enjoy this wig. It is so cute and um, I'm fulfilling I'm giving you all types of e-girl magic. Um, I'm so into it and it is so affordable. I think it's only like one something. So I feel like that's really good. I was on TikTok the other day and I saw this lady and she mentioned that her wig, some wig that she got was $500. And I was like, who's out here really spending five to $600 on wigs? I feel like that's way too much and you can find much better wigs at much better prices. And this is definitely one of them, so. Don't get scammed. Don't buy $500, $600 wigs. Uh, get you a good one like this one and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see makeup videos or whatever from me, let me know. Um, I usually put them on TikTok, but if you want to see me do them more on here, then I can do that too. Uh, follow me on TikTok. That's where I post most of my content nowadays. 
or on Instagram. I think I uh, like cross post on Instagram too, for the most part. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.